two months premature, and a heart condition. One might say I was born to overcome challenges. I searched for my place in this world, and I found it here. This pebble dice is where I battle now. I have my sights set on the Olympics, and I will push hard to get there. You were just telling me those guys beat you at European Championships, so a little bit of revenge today. Yeah, it was not the same team we played today, I think. It was a different team that showed up today. So uh, we got a good start and uh, managed to uh, pick it up from where we left yesterday with, uh, with playing Canada. So we a lot of confidence in the ice and uh, everything. So it's uh, coming together right now. Yeah, the only thing I'm uh, worried about now in the locker room here is uh, the guys peaking too early. It's too early in the week, so just have to keep it going. No, the, the, more and more shots, and I think curling as all other sports is a big sport of confidence. You know, as soon as you get some uh, good shots in there, you get more and more confidence. And uh, so no, it's only up to me not to sort of like carry it too long, because then you get too cocky, you know, and you try to make that impossible shots. But uh, right now, I'm really happy with the way boys are playing. Yeah, I think so. Uh, right now, it's, it feels really good. So uh, I'm just looking forward. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next games. Yeah, I am. Uh, we, we didn't start uh, that well. Uh, thought it was really quick in the beginning in the, at the practice, but then it kind of slowed down, and we weren't really catching up on that fast enough. So we made a few. Uh, really big expensive mistakes and let them have a three there out of uh, out of nothing basically and after that we really had to fight our way way back into the game but the the sixth end and the eighth end were basically perfect ends so i'm really happy about the finish of the game once we got the game close there uh, um, tied and then could force them to one and uh, then we felt we we were going to win it if we kept doing what we did and uh, really happy about what that we keep kept uh, making all those freezes and communicating well and all that so uh Feels good for the next game. I, th I think Japan is going to be a really tough game, and that's the game we have to win. Uh, but yeah, feels really good to still have it in our hands, even though we've uh, had some bad luck and we ha haven't played as good as we usually have. So um, still feel got to feel really happy about still having it in our own hands. Yeah, it worked out really well. Uh, I think it's always a sign of a good team when they have a bad game, they can bounce back with authority, and they played really well. I'm very proud of them. What was the message to the team coming off the ice last night? Uh, get some rest. They looked tired in the evening draw, and uh, that's what they did. They went to bed early. We got back after our practice, uh, Rick and I and, and Tom, who practiced late last night. By the time we got back, they were all tucked in. We uh, knew they were tired and knew that they had uh, gone for a good rest. Right. You know, the, the whole first end hammer thing, we were joking about it, it, it hasn't really had an effect. What, what, What's gone into that thinking? I mean, obviously it's not a factor. These guys have proven they can win without first-hand hammer. Uh, what's the secret? Well, the secret is they're getting lots of practice without the hammer, and uh, they're very comfortable with it. But, you know, it's, we're not happy with that. But uh, I'm not sure what is happening, whether we're overthinking those situations, because in practice they're coming up nicely to the lid, so we figure we've got the weight, and then inexplicably uh, maybe they overthink it and add a little bit, and uh, we're not getting to the button like we should. Right. Three games to go in the round robin. What's the priorities right now? Well, I mean, that's a big win because Switzerland uh, was a game behind us. Now we've beaten them, so maybe put some three back when you look at tiebreakers and stuff. So we're in good shape. Uh, we just have to keep doing what we're doing, which is winning games, and uh, see where we're at at the end. But it looks good for playoffs. Yeah. Um, yeah, there, it's quick turnaround even when you get back and get to bed early, have a bite to eat and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, no, it was good. Uh, um, Caught on early this morning with uh, with uh, those. Uh, we, we had thrown those rocks before, which was really nice. You know, we didn't have as much worry that way. We kind of knew what they were doing and uh, um, caught onto the ice and uh, played pretty well. Yeah, we were frustrated. Um, you know, I mean, maybe maybe more so than we even should have been. I think we were pretty hard on ourselves last night, and uh, you know. Um, I, you know, I think we have to remember that you know, with with so much changing in the variables, you know, the ice is uh, you know changes from draw to draw a little bit, and, and certainly challenging rocks, and uh, you know, you, you got to realize and be realistic a little bit as well. And uh, last night, just you know, we weren't we weren't sharp, and uh, you know, uh, you know, just not not quite quick enough and picking up on some of the little intricacies and rock wise and whatnot. So, uh, you know, we just have to do a little bit better job of that. Um, you know, there'll be less of that hopefully concern as we go now though because we're starting to see some rocks again for the second time and uh, and you know certainly hopefully as, as we get or make our way into the playoffs then you can kind of take that factor out of play so that's good and uh, yeah just keep plugging along.
You're just going to give teams the hammer rest of the way. It seems to be working out all right in the first end. Wow, well, yeah, it should be nice to win one of those. Uh, it, we we can we every every single time we've had one good one and, and one not so. And uh, yeah, we got to put two together here some sometime soon, hopefully.